Hey guys, Doughboy back with another Destiny 1 story playthrough. We're still on Vanilla here, still on Earth. It's our third video. Today we're going to play the Warmind and the Last Array, the last two missions on Earth. Well, not last two missions on Earth, but the last two missions in Destiny 1 on Earth. Or no, sorry, Vanilla Destiny on Earth. Making it sound like I'm the last man on Earth. Anyways, so we got the Seros regime here we're going to be playing with through. This weapon was synonymous in year one, especially vanilla. Not especially, only really vanilla, because they neutered it. And not only did they neuter it, they neutered all the other auto rifles, because auto rifles were a joke until the rise of iron, which was last fall. So for two years, auto, auto, auto rifles were a joke just because of this weapon, because they had to nerf it so bad. But um, this weapon not only um, not only did it increase in damage. Let's wait. Let's uh, hear this guy talk quick. All over the Cosmodrome. I'm starting to think they aren't just looting the place. Whatever they're looking for, we should probably find it first. Okay. So that th this is actually not the original look. The original look look was uh, white and red. This was uh, brought back up because this is brought back in the Taken King, I believe. All right. Want to get your sparrow, we can right, Taken King. Yep, seconds. Taken King. This is brought back in. And Rise of Iron, uh, these ornaments are added to it. So there's some pretty cool looking ornaments. Let's run with this one because that's the closest to uh, the original color scheme. Except the original scar color scheme had white where red is and red where white is. It was flipped. That's the closest. So let's run with that. Some things were changed on here. What do I got? I got spinning up on it, which was not the original. That was not really the original option. So let's run with focus fire, which was the original option. So this fire went aimed in, so it fired slower, almost like a typewriter, so pretty fast. But this thing was deadly accurate and just deadly because uh, you get to your lower half, somebody burned through it. It still does it. So right there where the, the chime was, I start doing more damage. And on, upon kills, I believe it says, upon kills you get health back. So in PvP, this thing was a monster. And I didn't, I unfortunately didn't have it until after they nerfed it, so I never got to experience its full glory. But, uh, well, I did. I was on the receiving end of it. I wasn't on the, uh, uh, aggressive side of it. I was on the receiving end of it, so pretty bad. But a bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on kill. A chance, which turned out to be pretty good. A little bit better than a chance. Then we got Praetis Revenge, which was a Velta Glass Sniper. Pretty low impact, but. I got a monster in PvP because it had high high aim assist and on kills through Feeding Frenzy, which is down. Just go over it quick. Feeding Frenzy. Kills with this weapon increase reload speed for a short time. So, you get a kill, reload quick, next next on fight. That was back in year one when special ammo and crucible was pretty easy to come by. Now, you lose it upon death and it's not doesn't come up as frequently. It comes up every minute, which is pretty frequently, but Back in year one, you didn't lose it. I think you actually gained it upon death in some instances. So, nothing like it, Crucible is now. But Destiny 2 Crucible, looking a lot better. So anyways, we just went through the mouth yards from uh, from spawn back in the Cosmodrome. So, note that waterfall. We don't want to go to that waterfall, but where you do want to go if you're playing th through this for the first time, is this small waterfall. Right there, you can barely, uh, you can even call that a waterfall. More like rain rainwater falling down. You can't even see it when you get close; it goes away. Right there. So that, this little small cave back in here. I forget where. I'm assuming over here, tucked in the corner, right here. I believe it's right here. I believe it's right there. Is a gold chest. So again, useful to new players. Not so much our our veterans, but new players pretty useful. Oh, I hit loading screen. Just said it has that my ghost. Get the full uh, Destiny 1 experience here. Loading screens. The fallen are using some sort of signal amplifiers. So it wants us to go right here. There's two of them. So let's start with this one. I got another gold chest to show you. So let's start with these guys. Start with a grenade. Did get health back there. Or there. Actually, I think that perk says it's only in the bottom half of the magazine you can get health back. But in PvP, you find yourself in the bottom half of the magazine quite often. Yep, right there. So it wants us to go up there next. We will. 
Let me show you another gold chest location. It's down here in the water. You might get a, you might get a, yeah, you might get a turn back, turn back uh, countdown. But if you go over here, you won't. And I believe, again, yeah, this is tough because they're not up for me. I believe it's this nook right here that has the gold chest. I believe it is. I could be wrong. Let's see, can I go farther? I believe it is that nook though, because I believe if I go any farther here, I get the turn back. And there's not really a nook here. Yep. So it is, if I don't die, it is this nook right there. I'm pretty sure. If it's not there, most likely this nook. But I don't think it was in the water. I think it was on. I, I know it was on the rocks. And it was pretty far out. So it was that first nook I was looking at. So let's go back. Jump on our sparrow, go across the water. Get the turn back symbol, but just keep going. Again, this is a forgotten shore, so lots of sh old ships look pretty futuristic, but again, ships. I mean, I guess it doesn't look futuristic. I don't know if the ship technology is really increased for barges and such in a long time, but. But I digress. Keep killing these guys. Oh, grenade got the kill, so I didn't get the credit. Nothing else. Did you hear this sound? Where is it? I heard a chest or spin metal. Don't know where it's coming from unless it's recording. Anyways, I'm trying to show you the spin metal and the sound it makes. Oh, right there. So we kill these guys. So hear that chime? That's spin metal. And not just spin metal. It's all planetary materials make that same sound. So if you're trying to farm, if you need planetary materials, which now you can buy. Back in your one, you had to go get it yourself. So it was tough. If You know, you saw the weapon. I'm not sure. The uh, last video, I had to upgrade the uh, pocket infinity because I, I, I had deleted that weapon. So I had to upgrade it again. I'm not sure how much spin mill it actually took, but I'm pretty sure it took like 50 or something. If not, it, you know, it took it, it took more than 10. So nowadays you can just buy it in bulk from uh, I think it's a Vanguard Quartermaster, but back then you had to go get that, and then it only came from chests. Back at, yeah, back in the day, it only came from chests, or you had to get it yourself by farming the spin metal plant. Not plant, whatever you want to call that, but farming the locations or chests. Nowadays you can just buy it, so so much easier. So we're going up to Skywatch. Going up to Skywatch. The fallen are tapped into something in the back of the rooms. Nice. Okay. Make this quick. The fallen are trying to access these machines, but something is fighting back. Someone's fighting back. It's Rasputin, the war mind. He's the last war mind. He's uh meant to protect humanity. And some think they just pr he just pr can't talk, sorry. Some think uh, he betrayed us. Others think... He, others think he didn't. But it's a complex way. He actually attacked the Traveler, which is that big ball in the tower. Which is basically what protects us. He attacked that uh, during the uh, collapse. Um, but the theory is he only attacked that... I'm going to pop a bubble so I'm safe. He only attacked that to release the ghosts. 
which then created Guardians. So this is before Guardians, this is before, you know, before the, the game even starts, because obviously you're a Guardian, so... It's before you ever came back alive. So he attacked the Traveler to force it to release the Ghost. Which then gave us one of the most powerful weapons with the Guardian. Because if I die, I can just... I can come back to life through my ghost. So, that is the theory that he actually attacked us for the better good. And some just thinks he had just attacked us. And there's no point to. And the Traveler that... Tra and they think the Traveler would eventually just re release the ghost on themselves. So, that's the gist of it. I'm not a lore expert. Thousands of hours of videos are on YouTube for that topic, especially my name is Vife. He's pretty good, as long with my Mylan Games. Bunch of content. Always listen to him in the car, so check them out. Okay, let's shoot it. More shooting. More shooting's better. They didn't get much. Kept hitting an active firewall. Old Earth. Russian Old Earth of Russian. Legends are true. A war mine did survive the collapse. Rasputin, an AI built to defend Earth. He faced the darkness and survived. And he's protecting something here in the Cosmodrome. We have to find a way to reach him. So, now that, that leads us to the next mission, the War Mind. So we just found out that Rasputin, the last war find, actually did survive the collapse, which was the legend. And the next mission, we actually go into his bunker. I believe that's what the next. I forget. What, I think we go back to his bunker again. So let's get that popped up. War mines over. Oh, last array. Oh no, that's, that's so that was the war mine. That's right. That mission was called the war mine. My bad. Last Array. This is a confusing part about the Destiny story. We go talking about the War Mind, and we stop, and then Last Array, which I'm not sure. I don't think it's really linked to Rasputin at all. So let's start that up. And then. Oh, that's right, I didn't forget. The last word was the next weapon we we're going to go through. And I will switch over to LDR. LDR was a Vanguard uh, sniper rifle. Higher impact than Prey's Revenge. Let's let's listen to our ghost. They were running a mission for dead orbit. Had codes to a hidden array that could reconnect us to the other colonies in the system. If we can find their ghost, maybe we can open that array. So again, ignore that Vex Mythical Glass. We'll be back for that later. Ghosts were last heard from near the Skywatch. Let's head there and see if we can find them. So now we're going to Skywatch. So, um. So, again, just a confusing part about the story. It just kind of jumps all over the place. And there's a lot of story. There's a lot of story in this universe. Universe. It's just not in game. It's all in the Grimoire, which will change in Destiny 2. But just the confusing nature of it to someone just picking up the game. They don't really understand what the hell's going on. They just understand they're shooting shit. And getting loot for it. That's about it. Which is a strong feature, but you know, that's like reading a book and looking at pictures and not, you know, just looking at pictures. Or it's like reading a book just for the sake of reading a book. Hey, those are words. <laughs> they mean stuff. <laughs> I don't know what they mean though. Vanguards say they're spilling onto the surface now, keeping the fallen busy. So we check off our sparrow. So last word. This is a unique weapon. It is fully automatic. Fanfire, like the old West. When you switch to it, you actually flip it around. Which is pretty cool. Lower damage, but in year one, when, uh, before its range was neutered. For all hand cannons, range was neutered. This thing was deadly. In perfect pair with a sniper, because you got long range, then you can pull out. And just go to town on somebody. It's a pretty fun gun. More for PvP than PvE. Um have a joke in PvE, but we're going to use it anyways. So, for the sake of this video, um, we already in this area. We already killed some guys last uh, couple missions ago, last video. I guess I can't jump through that window. What a noob. Okay, anyways. 
for the sake, let's just run past these guys. Like a true Destiny pro. Or coward, whichever you want to look at it. So this is the, this is the area of the Skywatch. The ghosts are still here. All that happened. The Skywatch is actually that building in front of us, which we'll actually be continuing it into. So the Fallen has, has, has the ghosts. We have to kill them. See, Hive. They won't drop anything, but the Fallen will. Don't land that. And see, I got Outlaw on this LDR, so a pretty quick reload. Like the Fate Bringer. So I gotta keep killing Fallen. Keep killing Fallen to get the ghost. And look, we got a level 7 over there. He's probably playing this mission for the first time, at least on that character. I'm not sure if he's a noob. Or just someone playing through for nostalgia like I am. Let's go in here quick. I'm not sure if this is available in missions. Yes, it is. Okay. We can disturb the remains here. This was the loot cave. This is where all the, all the uh, enemies spawned out of. So if you listen quick. A million deaths are not enough for Master Raul. So it says a million deaths are not enough for Master Raul, which is a nod to the Cryptarch, who is the one that took the uh, decrypted all the engrams and gave everyone their loot. Because people would just stand. There's videos of it on YouTube. I don't have any on my channel. But what was it? This rock? Yeah, people stand. This rock. Maybe this rock. I think it was just behind the. As long as you're far enough away, which I think was these two rocks, was like the borderline. You can sit back here with your sniper, with whatever you had rocket launcher, primary. These are little level enemies, so primary would do the trick. Maybe not the hand cannon I have. But you can just sit back there and just kill them all day, and they would drop loot in that cave. So thus, loot cave. So, pretty fun. Let's go kill some more Fallen so we get this ghost and get moving. Does that one have the code? This one still holds the code. Awesome. Let's find the array. I never was good with the uh, last word. Some people are deadly with it still to this day. Um, I could just never use it too quick. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe I was aiming for headshots, and that's not really what you're supposed to do because uh, if I just shoot at the wall, I'm not going to hold. It pulls up pretty hard, but I think people do is they aim at the midsection, and then. So I do know one. People aim at the midsection, and then they can easily hold, you know, these few shots would hit the head. That's, I believe, the tactic. But. Six to one, half dozen the other. Either way, I'm not the best with it. Let's move on quick. Try to keep this video just around 20 minutes for you guys. Don't want it to be a long one. Approaching the control station. This is it. all these guys I think my machine gun would be better at this point Again, not sure when this gun first came out I want to say dark below maybe maybe house of wolves and it was brought back later on but pretty cool gun Got surplus on it, so we'll get more ammo. Go back to this. The exotic. And again, I forgot. I have an ornament on this, so it's not the original look of it. Pop a barrier. I don't have Helmet Saint 14. So, original look was like this. This is a another uh, ornament. This one I had on it, but let's go with the original look.
What is the sound this makes? If you hear this in Crucible, or... It used to give me chills. If I heard this, I was like, I'm in trouble. Oh, meant to go to heavy. Okay, kill this captain back here. There's the controls. I'll see if these codes do the work. Okay. Almost done here, guys. A building, a building over there will open. We gotta defend this. Pretty lengthy defense. It's all hive. Tomb ships will spawn in. So this is our first look at the tomb ships attacking us. They shoot a purple balls of death at us and a bunch of hive. Again, not the best weapon for PvE. PvP, still a monster. In the right hands, but PvE. <laughs> it's a joke. So exotics, exotics kind of became secondary. Originally, they were, they were the shit. You know, you'd flip out. There's still a few you could flip out if you got the first time. But... Nowadays, it's all legendaries. This is still fun, though. I feel like a fucking cowboy. A little overkill. What are you gonna do? How'd that miss? Now, I do have hand cannon reload speed on my gloves, so it should be quicker. It's still pretty slow, though. I switched weapons. Went away. Okay, I hit out raw. I should just reloaded quick. Pop this for some help. Put the music. Nice. The music, though. It gives, it gives me chills. Background music is awesome. Got the moon, you got Venus, and you got Mars. That's all the other planets. Little Easter egg. It's connecting to defense constructs all across the system. There could be something out there to help us survive the darkness. How's that guy doing? Okay, the chair's eating his leg. Got a killer chair in that room. You gotta, you gotta be careful. Okay, so that's it. That was the uh, last war mind and the last array. I'm oh, sorry. That was the war mind in the last array story missions. The last two on Earth for now, in the vanilla story. So I hope you had fun. Uh, again, catch my streams, uh, Monday through Thursday, starting around midnight till two in the morning Eastern. Um, other days, usually Monday. Like right now, Monday it's about two o'clock. I'm streaming, recording these videos. Um, or Wednesday, Thursday, I do some uh, midday streams too, but mainly at night uh, after work. Uh, join my Discord, uh, Doughboy2448. I'll, I'll post on there when I go live. Thanks. Have a great day.